to another video as part of our psychology course. Today we're going to look at the theory of reconstructive memory. Can you remember your first day at school? Take a moment. What can you remember? It may have been over 10 years ago, but the chances are that you have some recall of the day. People used to think that our memories worked like a camera or a video, but we now know that memories don't work like that. Our minds don't actually capture events exactly as they happen, and our memories of events can change each time we remember them. If you've already done the development topic, you may have heard the term schema. A schema is a mental image of an event or person or a place that we hold in our mind. Our schemas influence how we understand the world and how we remember things. Our schema of a chair is of something that you can sit on. It usually has four legs and a backrest. Every time I see a new chair, I know what it is and that I can sit on it because I have a schema, a mental image, of what a chair is. This saves me some brain power every time I go to a new place and see an unfamiliar piece of furniture. I don't have to wonder, what is it? I already know that it's a chair and I can sit down. We all have thousands of schemas for different objects and events. They're like mental shortcuts to help us figure out what to do. You may have a schema of what to do in a supermarket. You go in, choose your shopping, put it in a bag, pay for it and leave. If you go to a different supermarket in a new town, you would still know what to do. That's because you have a schema of what to do in a supermarket. Schemas are great because they save us time and mental energy, and that's usually very useful. But sometimes our schemas can interfere with how we remember things. When we remember an event, our memories are not an exact copy, but an interpretation of that event. Memories are an active reconstruction, and we rely heavily on our schemas. About a hundred years ago, Bartlett said that when we try to recall something that happened, our schemas help us to recreate the event in our mind. And each time we remember that same event, our memory might change slightly. This is known as the theory of reconstructive memory. Our memories can easily get distorted. Schemas can make us ignore or change things that happened. It can explain how your memory of a day trip is totally different to your brother's memory of the exact same trip. Now, I'm not calling you a liar, but maybe when your brother tried to recall the event, he accessed different schemas to you. The theory of reconstructive memory has some real life applications. It can help us understand how an eyewitness to a crime might misremember certain things. An eyewitness might have a schema that all criminals are male. Sorry boys, blame the eyewitness, not me. And when she recalls seeing a thief steal a phone, she remembers the thief being a male, not a female. This doesn't mean the eyewitness was deliberately lying, just that schemas can lead to memories becoming distorted. And I don't want you to think that you can never trust your memory. But remember the theory of reconstructive memory. Our minds reconstruct events rather than capture them with 100% accuracy. So when I asked you to recall your first ever day of school, maybe you're remembering a photo that a family member took that day rather than the actual day itself. Or a story about your first day of school that your friend told you, or maybe you saw in a movie. I hope this has been useful and not totally freaked you out. I'm Kate with MBA. Thanks for watching.